Hello, this is Heather from Twist My Stitch. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Before we get started, if you have any video requests, send me an email to heather at twistmystitch.com. You can also find my social media links in the description below. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified of future videos. Thank you for watching, and now go twist my stitch. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to change your yarn color on your Tunisian honeycomb stitch. I have already worked the forward pass, and on this forward pass, I have a purl stitch on my last stitch. I find it easiest to work the color change into a purl stitch versus the, um, the knit stitch or simple stitch on the end. Um, so what we're going to do is we're ready to start our return pass. We're just simply going to start with a chain one with the new yarn color. Then we're going to drop our tail and continue working the uh, return pass as normal with the new yarn color. And then work the forward pass. I'm not detailing how to work this because I assume that you've gotten this far and already know how to work the honeycomb stitch. So now we're at the end of the round here, or the row, and um, it looks a little wonky with that color change there. I find it easiest to see where we need to put our hook to um, pull up that tail and get it out of the way. And then you'll see the loops of that last V come through, and then just work your chain one as normal or work into that stitch as normal drop your tail and chain one and then continue on and that's all there is to changing your yarn color with the tunisian honeycomb stitch